By now, you've probably heard of the looming and continuation of layoffs, specifically in the technology industry, but companies all around us appear to be laying off their employees. Given all of these layoffs and the looming recession in Western countries, uh, a lot of people are asking, you know, what industries are recession proof? And of course, I address cybersecurity on this channel. So is cybersecurity a recession proof job? And my honest answer is, I really don't know. I, I really think it comes down to a yes and no and it depends type answer. With that being said, I do wanna talk about maybe a few strategies and strategies that I'm incorporating specifically right now to help myself in this kind of period of time in my opinion, which of course I'm just one individual, I do think that cybersecurity can and can't be. Uh, and it all depends on the context of how you're looking at the industry. So in a for-profit company context, which a lot of us are in right now, um, security departments, personnel and employees, and the corresponding security tools, they're all kind of seen as an expenditure for a company. They are not direct revenue drivers or growth drivers for a company. In turn, if you look at recession kind of proof uh, industries such as governments, healthcare, critical infrastructure companies or, or organizations, these tend to not be as impacted by layoffs because governments have budgets. People hopefully are still visiting the doctor and the community still needs clean water and power. So it just all depends on the context of how you're looking at security industry in general. So what can we do about this? Well, I've been recently talking about some of the strategies that I've been using in my newsletter. You're welcome to sign up here. I talk about just random career stuff and, and fun projects and basically um, especially for entry-level candidates, the barrier to entry is just getting that much harder. So with the tech layoffs and companies in general, what we're seeing is a huge pool of experienced, qualified candidates that have prestigious companies behind their names. And this is just making it a little harder, or that much harder, for entry-level candidates to actually get a job. Now, when it comes to the context of experienced professionals, a lot of them have been having success, at least here in the past like few months, with getting jobs in small to medium-sized businesses because they still need, of course, experienced, qualified professionals. But when it comes to entry-level candidates that maybe don't have as many years of experience, it can be a little more complex. So some of the strategies that I've sort of been using, and I talk about this a lot on this channel, but a lot of them uh, correspond to or come down to uh, generic advice, which is building a portfolio, applying to a pool of industries and specifically kind of targeting recession proof industries right now, and then widening your overall scope. So building a portfolio, I've talked about this for a while, and basically it comes down to how are you making yourself different from other candidates who are applying to the same job? In my opinion, that can come down to, of course, a formal qualification, a degree, certifications, but it also involves how you're getting involved in the community, maybe what kind of side projects you're doing. And of course, there can be a lot of other different strategies, um, but ultimately it comes down to how are you making yourself different? And you know, for me right now, that is sharpening up on some of my technical skills that I've been lacking. And I've been trying to do a little bit more project work because I really do want to um, make sure that I have the solid experience. For you, that could be, I don't know, pursuing a certification or or it could be really anything. Um, but think about how you're building your portfolio. And that leads me into my second and third strategy, which is you could attempt to apply to recession-proof industries. Uh, a lot of these industries are still looking for cybersecurity professionals. Now, because there is such a huge skill shortage gap, um, you know, you may be able to find and land yourself in a junior or entry level position uh, where you're able to grow into a role. And then ultimately just widening your overall application approach, or just your approach, and maybe applying for some general IT jobs. Now, if you were watching this video and you have a job in, in cybersecurity, I would definitely probably hang on to that job, uh, at least for the time being, because with all of these layoffs, there is just becoming a huge injection of candidates. Yeah, so I've probably done a, a terrible job of like explaining if cybersecurity is recession-proof. I ultimately think it, it depends on the industry, it depends on your experience. 
And, um, you know, it's a, not a yes or no answer. It's, it's a yes and no answer. I don't know. So hopefully you've gotten some sort of value out of this video and, uh, yeah, well, until the next time, have a good day.